In this project, we had to design a device or product that uses sensors in order to function. Our group and I decided to design a self-driving bus that uses infrared sensors, light sensors, LED, etc. Thus, based on our goal, we designed more or less what we wanted it to look like, which you can see in front of you. We decided to create this bus because a lot of people waste time in traffic due to accidents or delays. This releases a lot of pollution to the atmosphere, such as CO2, and many people who are unable to drive due to injury, disability, or high cost might have to wait for hours and arrive late to work or school due to it. But first we began by practicing blick block challenges. The first one you can see is using infrared. In other words, when movement is detected or heat is detected, the light will turn on. And in the second one, using infrared, the buzzer plays a song. Once we knew how to use the program, more or less, we split into two groups. One focused on making the model that we would place the sensors inside, and the other working on the coding. Generally, we were planning on using a foam board to create the car and the platforms, but we discovered after that foam does not go very well with paint as it curls up when it dries. Once the frame of the car was created, two holes were screwed in in order for a pole-like wooden piece to be placed inside. This way, the wheels had full mobility. Once the frame of the car was created, two holes were screwed in in order for a pole-like wooden piece to be placed inside. This way, the pleat, this way the wheels had full mobility. After the sensors were decided and the coating had been done, we measured more or less how much space they would take in order for them to, to fit inside the car. After this, we didn't have much time, so we had to decide quickly what how we were going to fit these sensors inside. We decided in the end to create boxes where they would slip inside using foam boards. Have, however, the measurements we took resulted in the sensors falling out when the car was moving. We placed two infrared sensors in order to help detect the line. The infrared gives a value of zero when, the black, when black is detected and one for any other color. When two sensors detect black, the car moves forward when it detects white or any other color. It means that the line has finished or has gone off course and it must stop. Whenever the right detects black, the left will move, and when it detects white, the left will stop, allowing it to turn. This is because the infrared can detect the difference between black and white. Another sensor we added was light sensor and LED, because it meant if the light was low, the LED would turn on, otherwise it would turn off. However, one of the main problems we encountered was that the car would spin in a circle. This could have been due to many causes, either the coding or the sensors falling out or possibly the structure that we built. Future, I think it would have been best if we hadn't made the wheels out of wood. It would have made more sense if we made them out of plastic because that would have allowed for proper mobility. And additionally, it would have been easier if we had metal screws that attached the sensors so they wouldn't fall out. But as you can see, the car does respond to anything being in front of it as it dodged my foot. Additionally, the LED does work tried to add wood to keep the sensors inside to weigh it down because the wheels wouldn't stop falling out, but this also didn't work. Originally, I think this project could have gone a lot better if we organized our time better. I think we could have done a few more prototypes of the car and improved the coding a lot, or by adding more sensors or making it more complex.